Apple just released a new Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 7. This comes in three versions, aluminum, stainless steel and titanium. The prices for the aluminum starts at $399, stainless steel $699 and the titanium starts at $799. And all the three versions comes in two sizes, which is 41mm and 45mm. The price on the 45mm watch is going to be $429 for the aluminum, $749 for the stainless steel and $849 for the titanium. The pricing is all with standard banding, so if you decide to change it up and add a different band, you can add another $100 to the price. And with the new fast charger included, it has up to 33% faster charging than the previous Series 6 model. The bezels are reduced by 40%, which gives you around 20% more screen area than the Series 6 and 50% more than Series 3. Now let's move over to the packaging of the watch itself. Inside here we'll find the usual paper with instructions on how to put on the band, which way it goes and the legal documents. A new update from the previous model is a new charger, this time with USB Type-C, which gives the additional boost in charging speed. There is no additional changes to the puck, it has the same magnetic build and a matte aluminum coating. And here we have the Apple Watch Series 7 itself in midnight blue. This video won't justify how good this actually looks. And I gotta be honest, I was a bit unsure of whether to get this or wait for the stainless steel in graphite. The stainless steel has a shiny look to it where the aluminum has a matte finish. I did expect the midnight blue to have more blue tint to it, but man am I glad I picked it. There is only a subtle blue tint to it which is barely noticeable inside. Outside or in bright light, you can see more of that blue tint, but still maintaining that dark color. And since I'm not the biggest fan of these sport bands, I also picked up another band which is the 45mm leather link with with magnetic closure in the same midnight blue color. I will also be getting the saddle brown leather link once that becomes available here in Norway. The saddle brown is quite similar to the backside of the leather link bands, so you can easily turn them around to see if a saddle brown band would be a good fit for the color of your watch. You can also use the other bands from previous models, so if you have a series 4 or 6, you can use those bands with your new series 7. Now for for the midnight blue leather band, it has even less blue tint to it. And as I said, the video won't justify how good this color looks. But to give you an idea, it's a mix between gray, black and blue. Or as you can see here, we have the iPad Pro in space gray, iPhone 13 Pro Max in graphite, and there's not a huge difference between the different devices. The Apple Watch is of course a bit darker as it has that midnight black and blue finish. When it comes to earlier models, it's hard for me to compare as the last model I owned was a Series 2. Two. I didn't really like that series 2 that much, uh, the screen was small and it just felt like a hassle, so I skipped out on the next models. Now with almost all screen, better optimized and with better performance and the midnight blue. It's my new favorite watch and now I only used it for a few days and my opinion might change, uh, but as of now I wear this 24-7, checking emails, texts and even preheat to my car before taking Philip to the kindergarten. So my opinion on the series 7. Yes, if you don't have or never have had an Apple Watch and you consider getting one, the Series 7 would definitely be a yes for me. If you already have one, I will leave that decision up to you whether you need to upgrade or not, as it's been 4 years since I used an Apple Watch, I'm not gonna tell you to upgrade as I know too little about the different changes. Now from what I've seen here on YouTube, there is only minor and major changes from the Series 6, depending on which video and person you watch. But from what I can say after using the Series 7 for a few days, it has definitely made a few things easier. I love the big screen and the new full-size keyboard, though with my sausage fingers it's a bit hard to text, so I prefer using the voice text instead. Changing different layouts by tap holding on the screen is also something I really enjoy. For me, I find it easy to set up everything on my phone and then just swipe between the presets I made on the watch. Now if there's something I feel that this watch should have by now, it must be the option to FaceTime. Not sure why this hasn't been implemented, but I guess we'll see this in the future. 
So have you decided on an upgrade or are you going to stick with your older Apple Watch? I hope this video could help you in making a decision in whether to get one or not, but definitely go check out that midnight blue because it is stunning. And with that said, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you found it helpful or enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next video.